A federal judge has vacated her order compelling Apple to unlock the San Bernardino gunman's iPhone. This action officially ends the legal case. Apple is now under pressure to find out how investigators bypassed its security to access the phone. A government official tells CBS News the FBI now owns the rights to the method it obtained from a third party. USA Today finds many more locked devices in other criminal cases. The paper reports state and local investigators have been blocked from accessing the contents of the more than a thousand devices. CBS News legal expert Ricky Kleeman is here. We should add that Ricky is the wife of New York City Police Commissioner Bill Bratton, proudly so. He has called <laughs> yes. on Apple to help law enforcement access cell phones. Ricky, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Um, I speak the truth, do I not? You do indeed, <laughs> and we should always remember I'm the lawyer. Um, I was exactly the criminal right. defense lawyer. You, you, let me make that clear. Indeed, that is a point well taken. Before we talk about what happens in other cases, tell our audience exactly what happened. The FBI has somehow got a hacker somewhere to Correct. come and show them how they could get inside the phone that we believed before then that only Apple could get inside. Well, yes, but we have to also remember that whoever, quote unquote, the hacker is, is it a government agency? Is it a foreign government agency? Is it a company? Is it three guys from MIT in a basement with candy wrappers all over? We don't know and who And the government did is it. not telling, not even Apple, how they did it. Correct. And what's happening here, Charlie, is both um, Apple going too fast with one case when they then enticed people all around the world to say, I can get into this phone. So almost going to court became a challenge that was put out there. They put down the gauntlet and they got what they wanted practically. Did they get what they want legally? Not at all. So. Go ahead. I was Dana. just going to say, but it is at, we're talking about this. Do they have to now? Do the FBI? Do they have to say who did this? When you said it could have been anyone, are they required to tell Apple? Who well, did the this? FBI uh, could be very smart about this. They could have the information classified. If they have the information classified, they certainly not only do not have to turn it over, they cannot turn it over. And if I were betting on this, the FBI is not going to want to cooperate with the Apple, Samsungs, Googles of the world and say this is how we got in unless there's a quid pro quo. Apple has been strong. Apple says, okay, we want to know, and I don't think that the FBI is going to give it to them. Remember this, this is a 5C phone with an iOS operating system uh, of seven. So what you have here is that now they've gone to the six, they've gone to the six S, and Apple okay. will continue to encrypt farther and farther in order to prevent the government. So for the other devices, what's going to happen? Well, I think that the government would be wise to choose which is the next case they go to court with. It's one thing to go to court as they have in the federal court in Brooklyn with a drug case. I don't think that gets people too excited about the government getting into a phone. Does it's it hurt their credibility? I they think said they needed Apple to do it, and then it turns out they didn't. Yes, of course it hurts their credibility because then it's crying wolf. So every Every court is going to say, well, you told us once you couldn't get in, yeah. so now why should we b believe you? Why don't we let you try to do it again? And people do believe in the tech world that everything that's encrypted could somehow be unencrypted. Mm -hmm. Choose the case wisely if you're the government, because terrorism is much more strong than a drug case. And hackers are a smart bunch. Very smart. Dedicated. Thank you very much, Ricky Kleeman.